It's hard to miss off Interstate 40 in West Greensboro, but in this complex is the headquarters of one of the world's largest manufacturers of heavy-duty trucks, Volvo Trucks North America. About 3,000 people work on this campus. What we have here then is you see the entire uh, engineering, the design, the development, uh, but also financial services, all that is here in, in Greensboro. Manufacturing happens here at its 1.6 million square foot plant in the New River Valley area of Western Virginia. And the truck these workers are assembling represents the new generation of moving freight. Why now? Why is now the right time to introduce battery operated trucks in North America? Developments in society, right, more specifically where it comes to climate, but also where it comes to awareness, together with the technological development, kind of, you know, created an environment where we can introduce the, the, the electric truck. Hence the Volvo VNR Electric, a truck designed and built in the United States, and one whose lithium-ion batteries can produce 455 horsepower, making it capable of pulling the same amount of weight as traditional diesel trucks. So normally, you know, you can pull up to 80 to 83,000 pounds here. This truck does the same thing. It'll go 150 miles on a single charge accomplished by plugging a cable into this outlet below the driver's side door for 70 minutes. You get in the cab just like you would a normal truck. Then the magic starts. Well, the first thing, let me do it again, is that you power up. And there's no, you're ready to go now and there's no noise. There's no noise because there's no diesel engine. Is really, really silent. Yeah. And that, that is the first time I drove this, and I've draw, driven many trucks, but it is like, oh my god, this is so simple. <laughs> Another impressive part, acceleration. Whereas the diesel truck of, say, 20 years ago would need multiple gear shifts to reach 60 miles an hour, check this out. So 25, 30, 35, 40, and you're not changing well, gears here at all. Okay. And then we are at 60 miles an hour. Sure, that would take a little longer if we were towing a loaded trailer. But think about it. Hardly any noise, little vibration, comfort, a company with a reputation of safety and quality. Concepts Volvo Fields will not only help the industry retain drivers, but recruit more of them. The drivers that, that, that drive our first electric trucks are with different customers. All the drivers that are used to, to, to driving the normal diesel rigs, I mean, they don't, want, they don't want to leave it anymore because it's so much comfortable. Volvo won't say how much its electric rig cost, but it also doesn't dispute industry averages that show an electric truck can cost two and a half times more than a diesel truck. But the prices should drop as more trucks like this hit the roads, and within this company, that's a priority. By 2030, 50% of all our Volvo trucks will be electric. By 2040, all trucks sold will be based upon, will be zero emission vehicles. And looking further into the future, this is a truck Volvo is developing alongside the self-driving technology company Aurora that's set to become the first autonomous truck on the road in North America. We're talking no driver. It's being designed for what's called hub-to-hub -hub transport. It basically means you go from one warehouse to another warehouse. You're not going to have an autonomous truck driving in the, in the, in the city center, right? Yeah, it's absolutely. between one warehouse and the other warehouse, and that will happen without the driver. Expect to see this truck on the road by the end of this decade, while the battery-powered trucks on the road now. So how often do you get to drive one of these things? Uh, not, not enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> it has a great horn. It does have a great horn.